Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Wilds, where our young wolf fox is getting ready to leave and establish his own territory and search out a mate of his very own. So we're going to go ahead and today we are going to try to set fox free by giving him the new space away from all of his midi midi siblings that he is going to make his own over here by this mountain, where hopefully we'll be able to add in quote unquote foxes as red pandas to hang out nearby him, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it'd be really fun to have just little groups of uh, <clears throat> squirrel or foxes uh, with the red pandas and squirrels with the lemurs scattered everywhere. So we're going to be working on that today. I'm pretty excited. I don't think that this should take too terribly long. Now that we have figured out a fancy way, we're going to grab these barriers. Holy heck! We don't need you to be that tall. Nope. I think this only needs to be like 12 foot for the wolves. So we're going to come over and we're going to change all of these for one thing, like what on earth, flat top, please. Like what is even going on here? I don't even know what's happening. That's hilarious. For one thing, we're going to come over here. Wait, like all of you stop this silliness. All right, let me raise this up to close to 12. There we go. And we're going to turn these into one-way glass so that everybody can enjoy a view of the wolves. We're going to block this area off with a bunch of beautiful, beautiful trees. We're going to come on down to this side of the barricade. I hadn't even noticed <laughs> that somehow, because we started on top of a mountain, we ended up setting it to something so ridiculous like this. This side is going to be wood, and then these parts right here, we can actually block off with rocks, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's grab some stones, and let's do this, friends. These are This is a nice little collection of stones, actually. <laughs> I really love how naturalistic we've been able to start making things look. Here, let's grab this. This can help us out by, like, establishing a baseline because I have just fallen in love with like this tree combo. And we're gonna let this maybe go up and we'll put the rocks under it to kind of fill in this area. All right, let's do this. We're making something beautiful and new. Come on down here. There we go, some nice tiger rocks. Oh no, Aelin's about to die of old age, you guys. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Zarya, please, please, please! Ah! Aelin has just passed away! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Zarya, please! Fox Fox voted to like leave the area. If Zarya doesn't live until like oh geez. If Zarya doesn't live until her pups are matured. We're not going to have any, any buddy, like the puppies are not going to make it. We'll have to release them all into the wild and say that they didn't survive because their parents were too old when they come of age. Heck. Okay. That just got more intense than I expected. Also the snow falling is freaking beautiful and I love it. All right. We're going to go ahead and put down rocks and trees on this side to also form a barrier. Let's get these guys down in here. Oh, the snow is so pretty. And then the thing is, we just need a bunch of these cedar trees, and they form that natural barricade, as we have recently learned. Oh, I am very sad about losing Aelin. Oh dear. And I'll be very sad if we lose all of our little pups. Um, before they really have a chance to like figure out what it means to be wolves and be part of our group. Okay, let's put those down. Then I definitely think we need to prevent the wolves from jumping out over here, but I don't think they can jump up there actually. All right, let's put this down over here. Ah, very sad indeed. All right. And I actually think this may be enough to prevent Fox from escaping his new den. 
we'll have to go and mourn Aelin in just a minute here. But first I need a blocky or rock path um, to come up through this spot. Actually, I think just doing a na nature path would be okay. And we're gonna have Fox move out. I know it seems kind of sudden because like his dad just passed away, but the bottom line is that he already he already had decided that he was going to leave and find his own way. All right, we're gonna need to make this smaller. And we'll have to see if he ends up like inheriting the area because both his parents die whilst his siblings are still babies. That's that's gonna spin my head a little. Dang it! All right, we actually need to shrink down the barricade over here. If I'm going to have any luck. Okay. No, I don't want to. I don't want to edit that group. I want to do this. There we go. But let's pause. Sorry, guys. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna come over here, and we're just gonna kind of scooch this fencing over a little, <laughs> so that it's a little easier to work with. All right. Let's grab this. Let's go ahead and make it straight and then curved. Nice. And let's flip this to the other side. Nice. All right. All of these little aspects of the management that take a minute to recover from. But it's all part like clearing, clearing paths through the snow so that we can take care of our wild creatures is just all part of taking care of this grand national park that all of you should be very proud of helping to create. Uh, here, let's make a little path. Can we make a smaller path? Yeah, make a nice little small path over here. Can I even make an even smaller path? Yeah, just a couple of small paths. Oh, people could actually, <laughs> we could actually make a bridge over this so people could come and see. They can see the bison from this side. How cool is that? All right, now we just need to connect the two. I love this. All right. And of course, all of you as my helpers and interns here are doing a great job and helping to uh, pull all this together. But all right, so Fox's new home is prepared. Let's go ahead and move him. The time has come. It, really nervous, Ziaria, don't, don't, please don't die before your puppies are grown. <laughs> Hold in there, Ziaria, they're only two, and I think they don't mature until, when do they mature? Four. They're halfway there. They're halfway there. Fox might suddenly be the only one to have survived. Um, but that's the way it would work in the wild, too. Just because his family has babies, like, he would leave while, you know, he would assume his mother would be able to handle everything. All right, let's come over. Species Timberwolf. There we go, Timberwolf. Blueprints off. And we'll put down... Let's put down a sprinkler for our boy over here because I feel like a sprinkler would be good uh, and a small colorful ball might be good. We'll also put down a pinata enrichment. Well, let's put down a rotation line feeder for a little while. There we go. And a small colorful ball. Maybe we'll put down some pretty flowers over here too. And then until we can get some water over here, I'm going to put a little water thing there and a feeding station that we will cover up in the near future with a bunch of rocks and let's put down he needs a den that's what he needs and I haven't really made him a den yet so let's push our way in a little bit there a nice little den for him smooth this out for sure there we go. And then flatten this a little bit to give him more of a den shape. All right. Oh, he's playing with the sprinkler. He's like, what the heck is this? I have never seen such a thing. And thus why Fox decided that this would become his den. The sprinkler convinced him. <laughs> All right, let's make sure. There we go. 
nice comfy den. We can make it a fern filled den. How cool would that be? And then let's see, can he escape? His social group is really low, but the good news is guys, now that he has his own territory, uh, and we need to work on giving him a bit more like usable space in here. But now that he has his own territory, he can actually go ahead and get a mate, which is going to be really nice. Let's try to make sure he can't escape really quickly. And he cannot. So we actually did it. Naturalistic blockades. I love it. I love it. And then let's try to expand his traversable terrain so that he's got as much space as he needs. We're going to push in until the barrier says no more. All right, no, right now he's feeling pretty good about that. Because we can give him all of this. There we go. Like all of this space underneath. All right, now he's feeling really good. Like he's got enough zone, enough of a room to roam. I'm really happy about that. He's got a lot of like caves. What the heck? So he's got really a, a home made up of a bunch of caves. Which is quite intriguing if you ask me. What? Look at this. He even has like caves in here too. What a very odd world for you, my friend. Can you traverse it, though? All right, let's see. Oh, we do have, apparently, something we need to worry about. And people are like, yay, that's what I like to see, a happy, healthy timber wolf. That's good. Oh, this is an escape point, actually. Whoops. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone that far. I just didn't see that there was, like, not... Okay, we'll close this one off. There we are. Just didn't see a couple points there. There. All right. How's that for space, buddy? Good! Okay, I think we could definitely expand it, and we might expand it a little more somehow when he has pups of his own. Uh, but otherwise, he's just lonely. So, friends! It is time, it is time to go ahead and add in his new mate. Let's pick out a lovely, healthy timber wolf female for him. Let's see if we can find a gold level female somewhere. Nope. Why are the females so hard to get our, our hands on? Okay, we're gonna pick out the healthiest female that we have. And I think it's gonna be this girl right here. And move her in. Yes. Very excited about this. Very tickled. All right, let's add in some donation spots, too. Meanwhile, our antelope continue to have offspring like the good, good antelope they are. Thank goodness. Let's put down some donation spots. I do want people to be able to, like, maybe have a bridge over here. So we might remove this spot in the future and make a bridge up and over to like see the wolves from this side as well. But for now, let's put these down. And people can actually see all the antelope from this side too. Also, apparently the antelope are fighting. So let's see if um, our boy Thomas has finally become old enough that we will be replacing him with a new healthy male from outside the park. And yay, our new Timberwolf female is arriving. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. You guys may introduce all of you to Autumn. So welcome to Autumn, which is a name that you guys actually provided. The space is a little cramped here, but I think she's very, very happy to have joined uh, a new pack. She found a really great new space that she likes quite a bit and a uh, very handsome wolf who happens to be here too. Also, <gasps> Just a handful of lentils! That's my husband! This looks literally nothing like my husband. From head to toe, every coloration, hair, like he doesn't have a beard or mustache or anything. It just tickles me. This is just like some goofball that he randomized. This is not my husband. <laughs> but alright, so now we have added an autumn! Thank freaking goodness! And on the other side of our wolf pack, we do need to worry about Ziaria and if she is going to be able to keep her puppies alive on her own long enough 
to see them survive to adulthood and potentially potentially they they might end up deciding hey i really want to stay in this area or they might end up deciding that they would disperse as well we might have a, a competition between the pack members to see who gets to inherit mom and dad's swanky mountain perfect for wolves there we go yay and i hope these two are happy all right, Fox, I want to perfect this as much as we can before the end of the day. Um, expanding, we'll expand the space a little bit soon. They're very happy about snow. Here, we'll get some soil down in here. They've got quite like a nice little rocky area. All right, we'll put down some soil over here too. They really don't like the long grass. They prefer short grass if we must. All right. Our proghorn are busy having offspring, which is great. Uh, now we have too much short grass. Let's add more soil in. There we go. Really make this area look like the wolves are pacing back and forth, happily exploring their territory. There we are. A lot of soil. We'll get some rock. Over here. Oh, definitely up here. There's like a ton of long grass up here that doesn't need to even exist. That's probably a big chunk of this. Like all of this should actually be rock. All right. Nice. Oh, I'm always so happy when we're able to make our wolves happy. Uh, let's see. I, more long grass over here. Found some patches there. Any patches over here? I think I took care of it. Some more light soil. We just have a few patches of long grass hiding somewhere. It's a pity I can't find them. But eventually I'll track it down. Oh, ha! I think I found some of it over here. Oh, nice! Yes, we found it! All right! So other than size, everything is now perfect for the fox den. Um, and they would like a little bit more space, but we'll have to see if that's going to be enough to be able to convince them to have healthy, happy babies. We are going to also need... Oh, Latona is about to die of old age too. We're also going to need to make sure that the staff can get over here pretty easily. And that people can see the wolves pretty easily. So when we expand their area, I think we'll add in this little bridge over here that eventually I want to have come up all the way around the mountain and to a waterfall here where they, they'll see like red pandas and other things frolicking or maybe another wolf pack wrapping around the side of the mountain. We'll have to see. But all right, guys, so let's check in on some of our goals. Latona has passed away of old age. Before we go today, I also need to see if our proghorn antelope... Thomas is an elder! Now is the time, friends! He's moving out! Thomas is moving out, and we are getting another new proghorn. Thomas was great. I probably could have moved Thomas out a lot earlier. But we're going to get a healthy male proghorn with great fertility. Like the first one I find with 100% fertility and gold. You're coming on in. Huh. I don't really want the albino ones. Alright, that that's 100% fertility. But I absolutely need somebody with 100%. Okay, we might end up with an albino proghorn, which is not really what I was searching for, but... I think the only one I've seen so far that has a hundred. There's a lot of male proghorns up. <laughs> the only ones I'm seeing that have a hundred are actually the, um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, that, but then his size is small. Yes, this guy will do. This guy will do. From Whoop. All right, come on in, buddy. I can take my females off contraceptives so that we can have more babies a little faster. All right, let's get in here. Who's on contraceptives? You don't need to be anymore. Emma? I think it's faster if I look at it from over here. All right. No longer need to have Emma and her sister on contra- Ah! What happened with my puff adders? I turned my back for like one minute. Oh, most of them are in- Nope. 
We've we've got a bit of a puff outer problem, friends. <laughs> and it turns out there are Western Diamondback rattlesnakes, so I'm gonna need to like oh geez. I might replace these guys with the, the Western Diamondbacks in just a little bit. There we go. And Clover, how are you about to interbreed? Oh your brother is in here, curses! Bramble! Come on over, friend. All right, so the weakest of the bachelor herd is actually going to be moved out because they only like to have five members. Uh, Thomas will be the exception because he has won so many battles. So he's going to chase some of his weaker sons away. Sycamore, you're out of here. Jack, you're strong. Yates, you're not quite as strong. Yates, you're next. All right. There we go. But we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll let Thomas stay because he is now a five star rating. He has been, his appeal is through the roof. He has worked so hard. He's had so many offspring. I don't know why it says zero offspring. He's actually got 21 children. <laughs> he has been in 18 fights and won them all. Uh, and here are some of his very handsome sons who are just chilling. There you go, guys. But all right, so friends, so far as the Aria, the wolf is still alive. Fingers crossed about that. Fox has got his new area. We are expanding things. We are establishing things. We are keeping balance to the harmony of the uh, the entire national park. And how are we doing on the community challenge? <gasps> and while we were distracted and rambling away, friends, we were working our way up. And we are very close to almost having 27 animals born in the zoo that ha or in this park that have at least bronze rating. I am so proud of us. Go Proghorn population, go. Especially before we have more wolf pups. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Fox and Autumn, uh, who are definitely proving I need to have keepers in here to clean up after them, or park rangers, I should say. And uh, fingers crossed that Zarya is going to be able to survive into her old age to see her four wolf pups mature. And then we will have to see if she was strong enough to help all of them to survive into adulthood. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh.